Welcome back to ZOS Introduction. This is the 26th video in the series. The learning objective is one, familiarity with multiple console support, MCS, the environment for ZOS commands, two, to distinguish between MVS commands and subsystem commands, and three, where to find sources of information to advance your knowledge and skill level with MCS and MVS commands. ZOS is an extremely sophisticated environment capable of supporting nationwide networks processing billions of business transactions daily. It is not a stretch to say a single ZOS can be viewed as a cloud hosting a wide mix of business application services with all the monitoring and control capability of any cloud infrastructure. ZOS operations includes operation facilities for operators to automate processes to interact for the purpose of monitoring and controlling the ZOS hardware and software resources. Multiple console support, MCS, enables the ZOS operational interfaces. Multiple console support, MCS, is the ZOS interface for ZOS command input. The diagram shows MCS is highly configurable, enabling numerous command input paths. Observe the comment at the bottom. If you were involved with setting up a new ZOS data center operations environment, a must read is the ZOS MVS planning operations manual. Details of MCS configuration capabilities are explained. Each IBM Z mainframe includes a laptop called the support element, SE for short. The SE includes console input for any operating system running inside the frame, including all concurrently running ZOS systems. A data center with several IBM Z frames can network all the individual SEs with a standalone hardware management console, HMC. The HMC capability includes console input for any operating system running inside the frame, including any ZOS. Other examples of command input in the diagram includes the SMCS console, which is a communication server network device. TSOE session with SDSF is another console input. NetView console, which is an automated operations environment, is another example of consoles. Two categories of ZOS environment commands are MVS commands and subsystem commands. MVS is the ZOS grandfather operating system. The core commands to monitor or control the hardware and software are still referred to as MVS commands. Every ZOS environment has several critical subsystems in support of the applications, such as JES2 or JES3, the job control and management subsystem, RACF for security control and management, and DB2, a relational database environment. ZOS customization and configuration includes parameters read during initialization, which includes subsystem definitions. Each subsystem definition includes a subsystem command recognition character string. The IBM Knowledge Center is a good place to start learning about ZOS MVS commands. The URL shown includes a table with an MVS command summary. The Knowledge Center MVS command site includes hyperlinks to all the MVS commands following the table shown on the previous chart. Let's select the MVS display command to demonstrate MVS command processing. The MVS display command has many operands. What is shown is one of several pages with hyperlinks to the various ZOS resources that the display command can output information about. ZOS customization and configuration parameter libraries, PARM libs, are data sets containing ZOS global behavior settings read during system startup. 
Let's select Display ParmLib information. Display ParmLib information details include command output description and additional command syntax operands. The chart shows three separate snippets. One is using the SDSF console interface to enter a display ParmLib command. The slash tells SDSF to pass what follows to MVS. The D is an abbreviation for display. Two is the response, which includes message ID IEE 251I, followed by the command output listing the defined system parameter libraries. Three is a snippet for the ZOS messages manual. Looking up the command output message ID will explain the command output in detail. The discussion will now turn to subsystem commands. The chart has two snippets. One is showing a ZOS parameter read at system startup defining a DB2 subsystem with a subsystem ID of dbbg and the dash dbbg is the defined subsystem command recognition character string used to send a command to that subsystem. Two is showing the dash dbbg subsystem command string followed by a db2 command display database mtm2017 then followed by the output of the db2 subsystem display command. The chart has two snippets. One is showing the system parameter member which is read during system initialization defining the greater than symbol as the RACF subsystem command recognition character string. Therefore, what would follow the greater than symbol would be a RACF documented command. Two is showing the greater than symbol subsystem command string followed by a RACF command rvary with no operands. The RACF rvary output with no operands lists the RACF primary and backup dataset names. The chart has two snippets. One is showing JES2 parameters read as a result of starting the JES2 subsystem. CONCAR equal dollar symbol is defining the console subsystem command recognition character. Two is showing the dollar subsystem command string followed by a JES2 command to display the JES2 spool, then followed by the output of the JES2 subsystem display command. To advance your knowledge and skill level, the ZOS Internet Library MVS and JES2 Bookshelf is available with additional details about multiple console support processing of ZOS MVS and JES2 subsystem commands. In summary, you gain familiarity with multiple console support MCS, ZOS environment commands, and the difference between MVS commands and subsystem commands. Thank you for your time.